In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take screenshot of an entire web page using a free Chrome extension. So basically what these two let us do is capture and share portions of our browser with the ability to add text, annotations, lines, arrows, and shapes directly onto our captured images. And that's essentially what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. So let's get started. The first step we want to take is to add the Chrome extension to our browser. Now there are two approaches to this, but I'm going to be showing the most convenient way to go about it. So all we need to do is search for Chrome Web Store. And once the search page comes up, we want to click on the very first link. Now from here, we want to search for Awesome Screenshot. That should populate this page for that search phrase. So I'm just going to click on Awesome Screenshot and Screen Recorder. And once that is selected, we should see this button, Add to Chrome. Now that's what we want to click on. And then confirm this prompt to get the Chrome extension added to our browser. So I'm just going to click on Add Extension. Now, once that is added to our browser, it should automatically open up this page where we have four options to sign in with Google. With this, we don't have to be previously signed up to sign in. The option to create an account with an email and password, sign in, and skip. Here, I recommend going with the sign in with Google option. Select the account you want to use. And for the next prompt, we need to pin the Chrome extension for easy access. So I'm just going to select the Gigsaw icon and then click on the pin icon for the awesome screenshot Chrome extension. And that's pretty much the entire setup wizard. Now let's see how this Chrome extension can help us take screenshot of an entire web page. Let's take this wristwatch homepage for example. One thing you should always make sure to do is before you take screen grabs of an entire web page, you first need to make sure all contents on the page are fully loaded just to prevent having patches here and there. We can do this by simply scrolling down this page just in case there are images on lazy load. Now once we've done that, let's click on the Chrome extension. Here we should see two options to either record or capture. Since we want to take screenshots, I will just toggle to the capture option. On here we should see three different options. The options to capture the visible part of the screen, the option to capture selected areas, and lastly the option to capture an entire web page. But just before we do that, let's first indicate where we want our captures to be saved into. These other options here are pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to leave those to you to experiment with. Now for the location, we have the option of cloud and local storage. The local storage basically allows us to save files to our local computer and the cloud storage secures access to our files or content at any time on their database. I particularly use this option for the most part as it gives me access to files in folders so I don't have to search for them on my local device. Also the cloud storage gives us access to shareable links for our files which is a huge plus. So I'm just going to select the local option and then click on the full page capture. You just have to give it some seconds and it should automatically capture everything on here. With that, it should open up a new tab so we can just scroll down this page to make sure everything is in place. Now for the best part, we get the option to make annotations with a handful of tools like the resize tool, the crop tool, shapes, arrows, text, blur, and highlights. Now let's say we wanted to call the attention of a colleague to a specific area of our capture for example, telling him to reduce the border of this call to action button to like 5 pixels or so, we can just select the arrow tool, add that to this page and then indicate what we want with the text. Also at the right hand, we have the option to change our text color, font size, add a text in the border, undo and redo changes. Clear all edits made on this page and lastly we have the pro features at the middle. Now all these are pretty straightforward so I'm just going to hit the done button at the top right of the screen. Now this is the part we determine where we want our file saved to. So we can scroll down this page to take a quick preview and at the right we can see we have options to download this page as an image, a pdf and lastly the options to print these files. Below this option, we get to see the options to upload this to the cloud. So technically, you can be able to use the cloud option this way. So if I select this, we can see a pop-up where we can choose our file name and the folder we want it saved into. So once we've done that, we can just hit the upload button and with that, we can be able to share this link to just about anyone and they will be able to see this. So let's say I click on the copy icon and then open up an incognito browser to paste and search. This is pretty much what the person at the other end gets to see if they are not signed into their account. Coming back to our page, I can just hit the download button to save this as an image to our computer. 
Just before we round this up, if you wish to access the images saved to the cloud, you can just click on the Chrome extension and at the bottom right, you should see videos and images here. We can select the videos or images to open up the file saved to the cloud. As for the record tab, this is as straightforward as the capture option. Since we're talking solely about how to capture an entire web page, I will just leave you to navigate around this or maybe we could talk about this in another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value, do well to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That does help a lot and I will see you in the next one.